Solve for theta between 0 and 180 degrees the equation 2 cot squared 3 theta equals 7 cosec 3 theta minus 5, giving your answers in degrees to one decimal place. So let's have a look at this then. I've got the equation here. Um, we need to remind ourselves what cot squared is equal to. So if we just do sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, then to get cot we divide by sine, don't we? So that'll give 1 plus cot squared is equal to cosec squared, isn't it? 1 over sine is cosec squared. So that tells us what cot squared is. And now we can formulate a quadratic in cosec, can't we? By replacing cot squared by cosec squared minus 1. So let's do that then. So here, two lots of cot squared, which is cosec squared uh, minus 1, 3 theta, of course, equals 7 cosec theta. 3 theta, this is, rather, uh, minus 5. Okay, so let's expand the bracket, 2 cosec squared 3 theta, and then bring the 7 minus to minus 7 cosec of 3 theta. We've got a minus 2 when we expand the bracket here. Bring the minus 5 over plus 5, minus 2 is plus 3, and there's nothing left on the other side. So we now need to factorize 2 cosec 3 theta then, and cosec 3 theta has to be that. It has to be 3 and 1 if it factorizes. So if we put the 3 here and the 1 here, do a minus and a minus, we get minus 6 minus 1 as the middle term, so it's give minus 7. So that's what we got then. So this one uh, says that cosec 3 theta is equal to a half. Cosec is 1 over sine, so invert the fraction and write sine 3 theta then is 2. Uh, no solutions for this. And also this one then is cosec equals 3. So that would be sine then. 3 theta is equal to 1 third when we invert cosec 3 theta equals 3. So this is what we need to solve. So we need to solve between theta from 0 to 180. So here 0 3 theta times by 3 all the way through and we get 540 degrees. So that's where we're the solution range. So let's draw a circle. Let's write cast. And we're going round once and to 360 and then round to 540, aren't we? Sine is positive here and here. So let's mark off these two quadrants and write down the alpha, the associated acute angle. And write sine alpha is equal to one third. So alpha is shift sine of a third. Make sure in degrees mode, shift sine of one third equals 19.471. 471. Okay, there's alpha. So, uh, 3 theta then is equal to, because we're working out 3 theta, come around to here is the first solution, which is 19.471. The next solution would be round to here, which is um, 180 minus 19.471. So that's 160.528 dot dot dot. And then there's another solution, if we go right round 360 and then to here, another 19.471, so that's 379.471. And then the other solution will be right round to 360, right round to 540, isn't it? And back. So 540 take 19 is 520. 520, 520, um, 0.528, dot, dot, dot. So there's our solution set. Now we just need to divide by theta. Theta is equal to, so 19.471 divided by 5, uh, divided by 3, 
at theta. 6.5 to 1 dp, isn't it? 6.5 degrees. Next one is 160. 160.528 uh, divided by 3. And that's 53.5 degrees. And the next one is 379. Point four seven one divided by f uh, three, rather one two six point five, and then the last one five twenty five twenty point uh, five two eight divided by the three one seven three point five.